You joined the London Irish Academy in yep. 2003, is that right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so you've been, been here for, for six years. Um, would you say that this is the best London Irish side that you've seen while you've been here? Yeah, yeah it is. It's, um, it's going real well for us this year and um, last year was real good and I think we've just sort of taken a step up from last year. Yeah. You've got a game on um, on Friday against Sale. Yep. Um, I think if you if you win that, obviously you, you're going to go top as well. Yep. Um, I think Saracens are still. If they win, they'll be ahead of us. But um, they they play on the Sunday, don't they? Do I they? Think? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but we've. Like, I think we can only win our games and um, see what happens with the oppositions. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. And your, I mean, what are your own ambitions for for this season? I want to get back into the England side. Like um, I had a taste of it playing New Zealand, two games, and only played like ten minutes, five minutes, and um, that was a great experience. And um, I just want to get back there. Um, I'm in the Saxon squad um, this season, so I'm just got to try and push myself to get into the EPS. And um, so, but the only way I can do that is for some good performances on the field. So. Just Obviously, your dad being Scottish, how, how do you qualify for England then? Was that um, um, England's just on residency? Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. You didn't come under any pressure from your dad to play for Scotland at all, then? Or? No. <laughs> he just wanted what's best for me, and I think the England setup's the better setup. I didn't want to go home, and I came through the academy through London Irish. Yeah. So like, I've been with Toby's been my coach for about seven years. So yeah. I think. Yeah, I was, I was never going to turn my back on England, I love it too much here. Yeah, okay. Um, now you've uh, you've also played, uh, I think you've played 103 appearances so far for yeah. Irish. Um, and the, the way Irish are playing at the moment as well, it must be very enjoyable to be in a team like that. Yeah, it is. It's almost, um, maybe for the last three or four years, we've been playing a more expansive style and uh, it's uh, allowed like myself to get on the ball a lot more, like I like playing with the, playing with the ball and um, like running with it, and uh, yeah, just the way we play, like we've got some great backs. So it's just like a more enjoyable style of football to play. Yeah. Are like you really turn up each training, each week, really wanting to get out there, and like it's like you're having fun as well. Yeah. So yeah. It's like a really enjoyable style of football. Yeah. And um, I mean, you you had a good good game against Swass. I know you. you you took at least one or maybe even two against the head, didn't you, against Wasp on the... Yeah, it was, I think it was uh, one or two, which is always yeah. good. The scrum's going really well this year. and um, it's, It seems like the, the front row, I mean, Toby's rotating the entire front row virtually mm -hmm. every game. Yeah. Um, uh, is that a sign, do you think, of the, of the depth that... It is. It is a, uh, like, all oh, put any, any prop here at London Irish into the mix, like... This Alex Corbacero is still yet to come back and he's a great scrummager. I think he's a couple of weeks away. But Paulie, Dan Murphy's been awesome this year. He's a great scrummager. We all know about Clark and Farn, how destructive they can be. But, like Paulika's came in and made it so much easier as well. So just us three hookers are just having an armchair ride, really. <laughs> but it's been good fun. Okay. And uh, the, the, the sale game, if you were to, to go top, um, is it, are you worried that you would there be there to be shot at, or you much prefer to be out in front? Yeah, I think, like, like I said earlier, I think like we just win each game. But I think we're already one of the I think teams are already looking over their shoulder at us, and I think we're not, not we're now a team that people will up their game against. Yes. So I think every team we play for the rest of the season, we need to be on our toes against. We can't take any any team. So every team is just going to be gunning for us, I yeah. think.